An alarm that tells you when to go to sleep instead of when to wake up. A cafe where you pay for time instead of beverages. And a campaign for the homeless that features signs that say, I'm not old and I'm not hungry. Hi, this is Tony Newman with another episode of the Innovation Advantage video series. Videos that show you how to use customer experience innovation to drive more customers, more revenue, and more growth in your business. And welcome to our very first episode of Tools and Techniques, where with each video, we'll take a bit of a deep dive into one of our tools or techniques that we use with our clients to help them create innovative customer touchpoint experiences that differentiate them from their competition and significantly increase the number of customers that they do business with. Now, today's technique is called Flip the Script. Now, an organization flips the script when they take the way things are usually done, that would be the script, and intentionally do exactly the opposite, that would be the flip, flip the script. And so today I'd like to share with you three examples of wonderful flip the script experiences from around the world. Examples that come from three outrageously courageous, innovative, forward-thinking businesses who dared to be different so that they could ensure that their message would stand out in today's crowded marketplace. For example number one, we go to Portugal. When Nescafe wanted to launch their new instant breakfast drink, they wanted to find an innovative way to let their customers know that this drink would provide them with all of the energy that they needed to get a great start to a great day. But even Nescafe knew that no instant breakfast drink can make up for their customers not getting enough sleep the night before. But how could a beverage company ensure that their customers got enough rest? Flip the script. Instead of an alarm that would tell their customers when to wake up, Nescafe created an innovative alarm clock app that actually told their customers when they needed to go to sleep so that we'd wake up the next day fully rested. This flip the script experience was responsible for over 240,000 visits to their new product page. Over 2,500 people downloaded the app and Nescafe received over 39,000 requests for samples of the new product. Now that's what I call a wake up call. For our second example, we go from Portugal to Paris. And although many brands would like us to think otherwise, all coffee shops are pretty much the same. In fact, all coffee shops around the world struggle with exactly the same issues. I mean, it's lovely that people come in and relax with their friends over coffee and conversation, but at some point, all coffee shop owners face the same question. How do we get them to leave? You got students studying and coaches coaching and moms bonding with babies. What do you do when tea and biscuits turns into time and money? You flip the script. Enter the anti-cafe, where customers pay for time and drink and eat for free. In fact, in some of these anti-cafes, you can even bring your own treats as long as you remember to pay for every hour and in some case, every minute that you stay in the cafe. Now, I can imagine that there were some doubting Thomases that thought that this was not a sustainable business model when it was launched in 2011. But given that now, several years later, there are countless anti-cafes all over the world, or versions of the anti-cafe. I mean, they're from Montreal to Moscow and from Brooklyn to Bombay. One might be tempted to say that this flip the script business model is an idea whose time has come. Next, we go to London and to an organization called Passage, an organization whose mission it is to raise money to shelter the homeless. Now, Passage knew that most of us are so used to seeing homeless people with their handwritten cardboard signs that, in fact, we see them so much we really don't even see them anymore. So Passage wanted to shake things up a bit. So what did they do? They flipped the script. Instead of homeless people with handmade cardboard signs with their handwritten messages, they had well-dressed volunteers place themselves in high-traffic areas with handmade signs 
with handwritten messages, except the messages were things like, I'm not old, I'm not hungry, I'm collecting for someone who is, or I feel safe, I feel loved, I'm collecting for someone who isn't. The campaign reached over 650,000 people on Twitter and was responsible for a 25% increase in donations. Now that's what I call a good sign. So that's how you flip the script. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. So please go to the comment section below and answer the following question right now. How could your organization flip the script? How could you go against the flow and challenge the status quo? How could you dare to be different in a way that would get your business message heard in today's crowded marketplace? As always, I invite you to head over to TonyNewman.com and check out the Innovation Advantage blog where you can find more videos as well as articles, podcasts, and downloadable resources that can help you grow your business. And while you're there, please subscribe to our email list so that you become an Innovation Advantage Insider. You'll receive our weekly Innovation Advantage Insiders report with the best content from our blog, tips, techniques, and proven strategies that will help you drive more customers, more revenue, and more growth in your business. So thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Innovation Advantage video series. But until then, don't forget, flip the script and imagine the possibilities.